five ways to boost your testosterone levels and increase your sexual performance. Coming up. Hi everyone, this is Dr. Nesto from Attaboy Cowboy. In this channel, we give you health and wealth tips to help you be more successful. Now today I'm filming in Valley of the Giants, San Felipe, Baja, California, Mexico, and the views here are stunning. This is like the Sequoia of Baja, California. Sequoia are the largest trees in the world. These are some of the largest cacti in the world. I'd say about three or four stories high. They're huge and they're really cool. There's nobody out here. It's a beautiful day and I just thought I'd share some tips on how to increase your sexual performance. Because of COVID, there's been a lot of breakups, my patients. I hear it almost every day from men and women. It's been rough. There's been a lot of isolation. People have been out of their routines. They've been stuck at home. There's been a lot of fighting. There's been a lot of issues. There's been a lot of breakups. So a lot of young men and women have been asking me about issues with their sexual performance. And today I'm going to focus on more on men. And for women, you can, you can use this information to help your boyfriends or your husbands, but I'm going to give you my top five recommendations on how to boost your testosterone levels and improve your sexual performance. Now, why is it important to increase your testosterone levels? Well, testosterone for men is the crux of everything. It determines your body fat, determines how much muscle you have, it determines your sexual performance, how long you can have sex, how, how hard your erection is, it determines how happy you are, it affects your mood, it affects just about everything there is for men and women, but mostly for men, because remember, men and women have testosterone, which is more a male hormone, and estrogen, which is more a female hormone. So think of it more of like the yin and the yang. If you're a man, you have more of the testosterone and less estrogen. If you're a woman, it's the other way. More estrogen, less testosterone. But they work symbiotically. They work together. You need both of them. Now, if you have deficiencies in testosterone, you're going to have problems in just about everything I mentioned and some. And your general health is going to go down. So some of the things that cause it to go down are our own behaviors, which we can control. Some things we can't control, like aging. Over time, your testosterone levels start dropping. Actually, actually about 30, your testosterone levels drop every year. And then once you get to about 46, your late 40s, they start dropping a lot faster. So what can you do to counteract that? Well, tip number one, this is a big one, because a lot of young guys or, or older guys or whatever, guys in general, if you masturbate a lot, that's gonna drop your testosterone levels. Think about it. After you have intercourse with a woman, afterwards you have a release of estrogen and some other hormones, that actually causes you to kind of push away and not really wanting more sex, and maybe even a little more distance from the woman. That's actually natural. Our bodies are built that way. That actually causes you to fall asleep. That's why after sex, a lot of times the guy will fall asleep because they start producing more prolactin, which is what women produce when they're breastfeeding, but men will produce it after they have sex and their testosterone levels will drop. So if you're masturbating, you're killing it for yourself and for your partner. That causes a lot of performance issues in the bedroom with your wife or your girlfriend because you're you're releasing your sexual energy, let's put it that way, and you're going to be high in estrogen, your sex drive is not going to be as high, and your sexual performance is going to be way less. If you just hold out, don't masturbate, and wait till you go on that date or go out with your wife or whatever, you're going to have a lot more passion and sexual energy, and the overall experience is going to be way better. So try to hold off from masturbating. A lot of times when guys are going through breakups or something, they'll tell me, Doc, I'm masturbating two, three times a day and I feel really sad and I feel really lonely. Actually, the masturbating will make you feel more sad and more lonely. I mean, when you're alone, you want to feel good. So you're thinking, oh, I'm going to masturbate, but it's going to make you feel lonelier because again, as I mentioned before with the hormone, your estrogen levels are going to increase, your prolactin is going to increase, your testosterone is going to decrease, you're going to feel less happiness overall. You're going to feel lonelier and sadder actually if you if you masturbate more. Tip number two, stay away from porn. You know, right now there's a lot of free porn on the internet. <laughs> there's a really popular website that everybody watches. I'm not even going to say the name because I don't want to advertise for them, but almost every patient I talk to, men and women, mentions that, that website and all these other websites. Porn is free now. When I was a kid growing up, it was a big deal to get a porn video or even get a Playboy magazine or a Hustler. It was hard to get and they were expensive. Now you can go all day and just watch all the porn you want. The problem is when you watch porn, they use something called fast frame. Remember, I live in Hollywood in Los Angeles. So this is the film industry of the world. When you look at old movies, look at an old movie from the 80s. You'll see it kind of moves slowly. It's kind of boring. You look at a newer movie like a Matrix or something, it's moving really fast. That's called flash frame. The flash frame draws your attention in and it causes you to get locked into the movies. So you don't walk away to go to the bathroom or go buy popcorn or whatever. That way you're there watching more commercials. That's also why you'll notice the commercials are really fast and sometimes the, the sound goes up. That's to draw your attention in. That's, what, that's why cartoons are also like that. They're a lot more stimulating so the kids will be mesmerized. 
watch your kids watch cartoons. You'll watch their face. looks like they're being hypnotized. They're just so enthralled with the movie. That's done on purpose. That's also one of the things that causes ADHD in humans, like children and adults. That's why a lot of folks, if you're having attention problems, watch less TV. Children, definitely. You want to limit their TV to about 30 minutes a day or less. That sounds insane. Nobody would do that. But that's what's causing a lot of this ADHD you see in the schools. When I used to work in the schools, I used to talk about this with parents all the time. And they thought, are you nuts? I need the TV. It's my babysitter. I get it. A lot of parents are busy. They have, you know, two jobs. It's difficult. But as much as you can, you want to live it TV, but in terms of adult, it's the same effect. When you watch porn, it's really exciting and stimulating. They use his flash frame, there's all this action, there's moaning, there's this really interesting storyline. But then when you go with your partner, it's not like that. There's no sound effects, there's no flash frame. So it's a lot slower pace. So what actually ends up happening is a lot of people that watch porn consistently, they have less interest in sex with their partner. So it damages your sex life, men and women. That's because it's not, there's no way it can compete with technology. So you're going to go have sex with your partner and you're going to say, hey man, this is pretty boring. Even if you're not saying it consciously, subconsciously, your brain's going to say it. So you're not going to be as interested. So it's going to cause you to lose interest in sex. So stay away from porn. Tip number three, boost your testosterone by lifting heavy weight. Now, if you're doing endurance exercises, like you're lifting weight, weights with you know high repetitions and small weights while you're swimming for an hour you want to cut that out you want to switch over to hit hit workouts you'll get more of a workout doing two all-out 30 second sprints than you will jogging for 45 minutes think about that you'll get more in one minute than you will for jogging for 45 minutes anybody could spend one minute or 30 seconds running you're going to sprint for 30 seconds rest for 30 seconds sprint another 30 seconds as hard as you can think about the, the runners at the olympics look at hussein bolt some of the sprinters they got these huge muscles that's what happens when you do high intensity workout if you do long distance think about marathon runners they're real lean they don't have a lot of muscle most people don't want to look like that even though i admire their athletic abilities that's not what we we strive for so the same thing goes with your exercise if you want to boost your testosterone levels have more muscle have more virility which means being able to stand uh, last more have more stamina during sex have harder erections you need to boost your testosterone levels do less repetitions and heavy heavy weight that's going to stimulate your body to produce more testosterone tip number four eat foods that oxygenate your body remember your penis is like the canary in the coal mine if you're having erectile problems or you don't have sex drive you're probably having uh circulatory problems I'll, i see that very often with people that are overweight eat a lot of sugar or eat a lot of meats all meats chicken fish pork beef all meats. Eating a lot of meat will actually decrease the oxygenation in your bloodstream, decrease athletic performance, and decrease sexual performance. If you want to see a good documentary on that, watch the movie Game Changers, where the scientists talk there about the vegetables' impact on erectile dysfunction. So eat more dark green leafy vegetables, spinach, chard, kale, stuff like that is going to increase the oxygenation, the blood flow in your body. It's going to allow more oxygen to get into your penis. You're going to have more of an erection. You're going to have more time to have sex with your partner and enjoy yourself. Tip number five, decrease or avoid drugs and alcohol. If you're smoking a lot of marijuana, if you're doing crack or crystal or meth or coke or whatever you do, pills, uppers, G, all that stuff is going to decrease your sexual performance and decrease your testosterone levels. It's clinically proven. Now, marijuana has its benefits if you have some medical problems but if you're just smoking it regularly you're going to have a decreased sexual performance you're going to have erectile problems that's just the way it is you you don't get everything so you might enjoy the marijuana but you're not going to be enjoying sex with your wife or your girlfriend so decrease all that stuff alcohol same thing all those things decrease oxygenation in your blood remember the penis think of it as like a sponge it's full of it's called the ca cavernosa copus cavernosa full of lots of venules and lots of spaces where blood can flow into and fill up and get hard anytime you eat a poor diet you have kind of like, like blockage like plaque it doesn't allow blood to get in there so it, it can't get hard even if you wanted to you can take viagra and stuff like that it'll help so much but it's not going to overcome a lot of those issues you're having because of your poor diet or the pharmaceuticals if you take a lot of drugs uh, even if they're prescribed by your doctor sometimes they're necessary if you have to take them you have to take them that's going to be the consequence you're going to have erectile dysfunction so those are pretty easy to solve those are my top five recommendations to boost your testosterone levels which allow you to have more muscle less wrinkles less body pains feel better be happy and be able to enjoy your life and have a better sex life with your partner so if you have any questions from Valley of the Giants, San Felipe, Baja California, Mexico. This is Dr. Ernesto Martinez. Thank you for listening and please subscribe to our channel. Goodbye.